more can you tell us about Higgins' trade demand? Listen, Molly, this is a situation where T. Higgins got the franchise tag and he wants a new deal. And there have been no contract discussions with the Bengals since March of 2023, one year. Usually when teams use the franchise tag, it's designed to essentially hold a player in place while talks are ongoing. But there haven't been any talks. And while T. Higgins wants to be in Cincinnati, plan to be there long term, love the city, He's not happy with his contractual situation, and therefore, he is requested to be traded from Cincinnati. Now, last year, his name came up, and the Bengals were quick to dismiss any idea that they would be moving on from T. Higgins. This time, he's issued a trade request demanding to be dealt out of Cincinnati after there have been no contract discussions. Now, I don't know that there's been a lot of interest so far in T. Higgins, but a request like this usually ignites calls around the league. And there'll be a team that doesn't land the receiver it wants, that doesn't get a wide receiver it needs, and ultimately could decide, okay, let's reach out to Cincinnati, let's see the cost of compensation, let's see what it would take to land a long-term deal with T. Higgins. But let's be honest about this. He's played himself into the franchise tag. He wants to get paid. The Bengals haven't talked to him about a new deal, and he's not happy about the current state of affairs with the franchise. Adam, thank you so much. We'll continue to check in with you. T. Higgins, just 25 years old. I'll bring in Shannon and Stephen A. now. Shannon, tell me this. Which team should call the Bengals immediately about T. Higgins? As soon as they won the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs should have been on the phone with the Bengals about, about, about trying to acquire their services, uh, his services, because I believe he's a number one receiver. And it's hard. I don't believe the Bengals are going to be able to pay him because they got Jamar Chase. He wants a contract. He's just waiting to see what C.D. Lamb, what Justin Jefferson. All those guys are kind of waiting on each other, Stephen A., to see, well, if you get this, I get that. But T. Higgins just saw Mike Evans get, what, two years, $52 million with $30, $40 million uh, guaranteed. So T. Higgins is not comfortable playing on a one-year deal that's going to play, pay him a little less than $20 million. He wants long-term financial security. And I believe he's played his way into a long-term deal. I just do not believe he can get it from Cincinnati com considering Jamar Chase is definitely is the definitive number one and he's going to want somewhere north of 20 north of 28 million. He's going to be looking to get into that Tyreek Hill number, that magic number of 30 million dollars. And so I don't believe the Bengals can compensate him what he believes he's worth. Kansas City needs T Higgins. There are several other teams. The Bears can use his services. So should uh, the Carolina Panthers or the New Orleans Saints. But the number one team, can you imagine him with a, 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 a Patrick Mahomes? Rasheed Rice has elevated his game. You still got Trav. Oh, man. If Kansas City got T. Higgins, and now that they re-signed Stone Cold Jones, Chris Jones, mm -hmm. they're going to be the deal with Stephen A. But I don't know if that, that, that's in Kansas City's budget. But if I was Kansas City Chiefs, I would definitely be on the phone with Cincinnati Bengals asking what, is, what would it take to get his services. What is the matter with you this morning, Shannon? Where is your compassion? What happened? Why, why would you wish Chicago or Carolina or T. Higgins? What did he do to you? What did he do to you, Shannon? I mean, why would you wish that on him? <laughs> I don't want him in Chicago. I don't want him in Carolina. The brother, 25 years old, he can He want to get paid. To, listen, listen, here's the deal. Kansas City is an option, even though they probably wouldn't do it within the division trading with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers is a place that he should entertain. The Dallas Cowboys, they could do a uh, big-time number two with CeeDee Lamb. I think that is an option that he should – I'm just throwing out teams that he should want to go to is what I'm trying to say. Whether they'd be able to pull it off or not, oh, that okay, remains to be okay. seen. What about, what about the Chargers? Because I, I don't know, Mike Williams and Keenan Allen are going uh, to both be kept. So I'm looking at it from that don't, perspective. They're going to look the move. Uh, Mike Williams. There, there you go. There you go. So my point is this. If you're the Chargers, you got to think about that because you got Justin Herbert over there. If I'm a T. Higgins, I'm 25 years of age, I can't depart from a Joe Burrow to a Derek Carr in New Orleans, a Justin Fields or Caleb Williams in Chicago, in Chicago a, a, a Bryce Young in Carolina. I can't do that. I got to sit up there and I got to look at a Justin Herbert. I got to look at a Patrick Mahomes, okay? Even though Russell Wilson isn't on that level with, Deion, with, with Pickens and what he brings to the table, with questions as to whether or not they're going to keep Deontay Johnson, I think that's something that you could potentially explore. But in the end, here's the bottom line. The brother's 25. He was targeted 109 times the previous year. 
it dipped by 33 last season. Four less games he played due to injury, but still 33 less targets. You can't go from a Joe Burrow in that situation with Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow to go into just some regular old situation. You got to find yourself in an ideal spot. Patrick Mahomes obviously is first on the list. You're right about that. But those others I mentioned are worth considering as well. But here's the thing you also have to consider. A lot of times, the really good teams don't have the cap space to give you that long-term deal. Fair enough. Normally, in free agency, the big high-ticket dollar free agents, they go to teams that didn't make the playoffs or didn't have a whole lot of success. Right. And so that's why I'm throwing out those teams because I believe Bryce Young needs a number one receiver. I believe you, hey, player, uh, T. Higgins and now D.J. Moore, with, it seems like it seems like from reading the tea leaves, they're going to take Caleb Williams. They got right. commit. They've got good quality uh, uh, skill position players, mm -hmm. and you want to do as much as you can to make sure Caleb Williams transition yeah, is as easily a, easy as it possibly rookie, can being from UFC to Chicago, USC to Chicago. You want to go from Joe Burrow to a rookie? What'd you say? I said, would you go from if you're a receiver, you want to go from Joe Burrow to a rookie? But no, no, I don't. But here's the thing. But with, with Joe Burrow, he got me eating, eating chicken breasts and chicken tenders. I'm about to go to ribeye. I'm about to go to Mastro's. I'm about to go to State 48. See, well, what, what you got me doing that, that, You got that, me, that, you got that, me that, eating, that, uh, uh, you know, the, the highest thing yeah. on the menu is $35. We know, but, we know but, you eat your protein, go, how, you how, you get there? Food, how you get there? You were rolling up, you were rolling up there, as you would say, a Bugatti, a Benz, or whatever it is, a Rolls Royce, whatever it is. You were rolling up with that with Burrow. Now you're going to roll up there. You, got, you might have to be wheelchaired up in that bad boy.